Yeah. 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 Ye
good morning yes okay I, I think i'm done with all my greeting for now but of course i will greet you again and again <laughs> yes so for now it's quite different as i was saying uh friday uh series must uh, must be tagalog conversation but i was not prepared for that script so i need i need some time again to write more scripts for tagalog conversation but on, uh, today since that i am so my thoughts my 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 focus my attention right now is about uh, creating my uh, my lessons to my one on one premium classes so yes and i think I, it's just nice to share a little bit of my my uh, what are, what are those topics that i present over there to my one on one premium class and yes one on one premium class if you want to learn more about that subscribe to my email list email list the link is written down there take the link link from the description below for you to be able to subscribe to my email list so you get announcements newsletters what's coming yeah what's next yes yeah, something like that i write it yes it's for it's for those people who believe in me who believe in my service yes and who want to avail to my service avail of my service one-on-one -on -one premium class yay <laughs> okay so yeah so yes let me present to you certain thing that, that will help you learn tagalog and may, yes of course my main main intention or my main what value that i'd like to deliver to you is to help you increase your tagalog vocabulary and along with that you must be able to 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 listen or to hear or to to get um, those vocabulary along with statements in tagalog yes those words must be uh, used in a sentence for you to understand and so that you would be able to use those words yourself yourself right right so yeah let me see let's find out our uh, content for today our presentation for today yes yeah, so just take it in a relaxed manner yeah relaxed manner so that's why my approach is to giving you lots and lots of examples and i hope that my audio is good okay let's have this one this yeah okay so tagalog to english is our title for today we will talk about root words root words uh, tawag linis bigay and billy tawag linis bigay and billy so these are our root words for today yes tawag linis bigay and billy let's see next slide yeah okay so let's find the problem let's identify the the problem for tonight for this episode what are tawag linis bigay billy in english yes let's find out and what infinitive verbs what infinitive verbs may be formed out of those root words yes these root words tawag linis bigay billy yes yeah and then how to use those infinitive verbs in a sentence yes how to use those infinitive verbs in a sentence okay now let's start with tawag Mo hello mona hello uh, yay nice to see you here yeah yeah mona and hi randy miami florida south carolina mabuha yes yeah are you ready for our lesson for today yeah i believe this is quite a help of you i a help for your grammar not really like to me is grammar is secondary i want you to be to be uh uh getting lots of words and phrases words and phrases yes and of course vocabulary and its meaning and how to use it in a sentence for example we have tawag tawag yeah Mo hello pedro hello yeah uh, hello hello dearest viewers yes i call you collectively 
party noise and party nice yes because i'm not that that person who says hey guys no not me not i don't want guys <laughs> no. hello i just rather call you in your uh, real name or yeah your nickname or what yeah if you're yeah join me you stay with me let's do this for one hour yeah so not much of a slide but who knows we we may be extended or not maybe not i hope so so mona pedro randy other than so if you have some statements that needs in your mind running in your mind please say it there in tagalog i want to help you with your tagalog so comment down your sentences or help uh, ask help for your correction i will i will try to help you we will correct it yeah and if you have some english if i have some help on english i will ask you help me in return yes hello bruce kumusta hello touch yay let's start tawag okay let's move on yeah again reminder kindly keep i will monitor your comments and your help on tagalog Tawag in English is name of a thing. Name of a thing. Also, other words, a terminology. Or also, you may say, it's call, call. The, mean, the translation of tawag could be name of a thing, term, terminology, or call. Okay. Okay. So, let's use tawag in a sentence. Let's use tawag in a sentence. This is, these are my examples. Sa Pilipinas, ang tawag namin sa maliit na sasakyang pandagat gaya ng kayak ay bangka. Again, sa Pilipinas, ang tawag namin sa maliit na sasakyang pandagat gaya ng kayak ay bangka. Okay. In the Philippines, we, the term we use when we refer to a small sea vessel like kayak is bangka. Yes. Okay. And then so I use the word tawag here. So yes, tawag, which means term, term. Yeah. Sasakyang pandagat, of course, sea vessel. Yes. Gaya nang is uh, uh, like, like, gaya nang. Of course, bangka, bangka. Okay, another example. Let's move on. Carmelita ang legal na pangalan ko, pero Carmi ang tawag nila sa akin. Again, Carmelita ang Carmelita ang legal na pangalan ko, pero Carmi ang tawag nila sa akin. Yes, in English, Carmelita is my legal name but they call me carmi yes so again i use the word tawag here so just root word tawag okay next okay next word is lini seven people watching welcome welcome to my channel say hi if you are new in this channel please don't forget to subscribe hit the subscribe button yes and hit the like button also if you feel happy that we're here together Okay, Linis, literally in English is clean, clean, Linis, clean. Okay, the word Linis in Tagalog can't be used in a sentence as it is. It can, it's weird to use it in a sentence. You'd want an affix, so you can come up with a noun, an adjective, or a verb. Yes, yeah. okay, let's move on. Yes, and also we have the root word bigay, bigay. Bigay in English is gift or donation, and it can also mean give, give, bigay, bigay. Yes, my Filipino sister-in-law is named Carmi. Hello, Carmi. Where is your sister-in-law? How is she doing? Hi, Carmi. Maybe you are not Carmelita, <laughs> just Carmi. Okay, yay. Gift, donation, give. Yeah, it's okay. Let's see. Okay, let's use bigay in a sentence. Bigay in a sentence. Ang sing sing, sing sing na ito. Yes, the, both of these. Ang sing sing na ito ay bigay ng asawa ko. Ang sing sing na ito ay bigay ng asawa ko. 
take note. Yes, I, I want to help you construct your Tagalog. Sing sing noun is the subject of the statement. Na ito, that means this ring. Sing sing na ito, this ring, this ring. This ring is a gift from my husband. Bigay, gift, gift, gift from asawa ko, my husband. Yes, that's how, uh, that's our example for bigay. And then next, next example, limang libo. Limang libong piso ang bigay ko sa simbahan kada isang buwan. Limang libo, limang libong piso ang bigay ko sa simbahan kada isang buwan. In English, I donate 5,000 pesos to charity every month. Limang libo for 5,000, 5,000. Limang libong piso, piso, pesos. Ang bigay ko, bigay is, I donate, I use the word donate, bigay, okay, bigay. Simbahan for, oh no, must be church here, <laughs> okay, uh, because I was thinking charity in Tagalog first, I, so I, I changed my mind, simbahan, so this must be ch church, church, not charity, church, okay, uh, okay, my mistake, okay, kada, kada is a Tagalog, Tagalog uh, part of a, uh, Ecletic or kataga, kataga something, or maybe uh, not kataga. But anyway, kada can be, is translated as every, every, every. Kada isang buwan, every month, every month. Kada isang buwan. Hello, Babs. Hello, nice to see you. First time here. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for coming, for joining us. Or, ah, uh, Babs, maybe you're, siguro ikaw si, what is the name? Dina. Ikaw ba si Dina? Magandang hapon sa'yo. Yay, good. Welcome, I'm happy. Yes, next, Billy, Billy, next root word. Let's talk about Billy, Billy. Literally, in English, is buy, buy. Yeah. Same as the word lean is, it can't be used in a sentence as it is. So we want affix and some affixes so we can come up with noun, adjective, or verb. Okay, so this is just a short presentation. So um, I cannot cover all of those affixes in one episode. So I just selected few. Okay, next, let's do this. Oh, okay, I have to break it into in first half and second half for my announcement, for my announcement for today. Yes, so I, I help me maintain this channel. I buy me a coffee, if you know what it means. Take the link from the description below. Yes, to maintain this channel, to fuel up our community. Yes, subscribe to my channel, please, and hit the like button. And also, yes, I believe that many of my viewers are already members of Tagalog with Albine Group. Maraming salamat. And also, yeah, my website is still in in uh, construction. It will be uh, or will it will be better soon. And also, again, I'm promoting my one-on-one -on -one premium class. Yes, yeah, subscribe to my email list to to learn to receive and uh, newsletters, uh, yeah, updates, announcements, and some freebies and some, yeah, promo maybe. Let's see. Thank you. And also, uh, for the month of July, people uh, supported me with love and support. Thank you so much, Bruce. Thank you, Simon. Thank you, Matt. And thank you, Kelly Mabuhay. <laughs> okay, let's proceed. Kumusta ka? Uh, I'm okay, Bobs. Yes. Oh, I hope you are okay. Sana okay ka rin. Okay, next. Let's move on about tawag. Yes. Let's move on. Yeah. Tawag. Yes. And let's see. Tawag. The following words are derived from the root word tawag. Let's, let's see. Tumawag. Yes. Derived from the root word tawag. Tumawag. Magtawag, magtawag, tawagin, tawagin, tawagan, tawagan. So, take note from the root word tawag, the first word, tumawag, we use the affix, infix, um. 
infix because it's in between the root word between okay so and then mag is the other uh, affix or infix uh, prefix this time mag mag tawag mag tawag and the other one we have the suffix in in tawagin tawagin and also the, another suffix which is an tawagan yes take note of the word follow after me tumawag magtawag tawagin tawagan okay all of these are in infinitive forms of verb so my presentation is good for about intermediate uh, tagalog students intermediate take notes so if you are just beginners be patient that uh, there are other um, other ways to learn from basic from the start but if you are beginner it's all right just listen listen and gather all all the words like take note of the words and uh, create your own dictionary yes to create your own dictionary if you are beginner yeah vocabulary building for you okay next yeah tumawag versus magtawag let's find out tumawag versus magtawag Tumawag and magtawag are both subject-focused verbs, if you know what I mean with subject. Part of a sentence, the first part is subject, subject, the thing that you're talking about. It could be a person, a place, an animal, any object, a thing, an event, or something. Yes, subject, subject, focus. So, these verbs to tumawag and magtawag are both subject focused verb sometimes i call it actor focused verb actor focused verb the person who's doing the action the action okay so yes let's take example example para yatang pinasok tayo ng magnanakaw Tumawag ka ng pulis. So, it must be, you must be, uh, uh, what? Your emotion must be something, something scared or what? Yeah. Or confused, whatever emotion that, that is. In English, looks like a thief got in. Call the police. Call the police. Para yatang pinasok tayo ng magnanakaw. Tumawag ka ng pulis. Looks like para, para. Para yatang, para yatang, looks like, looks like, pinasok, pinasok, uh, got, got in, got in, tayo, uh, eh, tayo is we, but it's not part of the English sentence here, magnanakaw for thief, thief, okay, then tumawag for call, call the police, call the police, tumawag ka ng police, yes, Tumawag ka ng police. Take note. I hope you follow after me. Next, uh, nakakatuwa. Nakakatuwa. Pero nakakainis din ang ingay sa Metro Manila. Ang lakas magtawag ng mga barker sa kalye. Okay, again, follow after me. Nakakatuwa pero nakakainis din ang ingay sa Metro Manila, ang lakas magtawag ng mga barker sa kalye. I'll say it faster so I come up naturally in Tagalog. Nakakatuwa pero nakakainis din ang ingay sa Metro Manila. Ang lakas magtawag ng mga barker sa kalye. Yes, we call it barker. You know. Let, let's see. I'll, I'll tell you why. Let's see. Nakakatuwa. Nakakatuwa is uh, amusing. Amusing. Pero, of course, is but, nakakainis, annoying, annoying. And then, din, I didn't use it in English, it could mean also, okay. Ingay, ingay for noise, noise. Metro Manila, you know it, it's in the, Mani in the metropolis, capital city. City capital. And then, ang lakas, ang lakas, uh, loud, loud, lakas. And then, magtawag, magtawag for uh, call, call, call. Ma uh, lakas magtawag, call out loud. 
in the street kalye kalye so barkers you, you i hope you know what i mean with barker these people yes in the busy streets of manila taft avenue edsa what else rojas boulevard what else any streets in metro manila in baclaran in front of the church or what so people uh, people get those are middlemen middlemen so they help uh, jeepney drivers to get passengers for them so yes like especially in taft avenue you will moa <laughs> moa <laughs> okay uh, maybe uh, i uh, i hope that i am acting <laughs> okay yes those kinds of noises capo <laughs> kubao those are barkers we call it barkers okay ang lakas magtawag so the verb i use is magtawag yes ng mga barker sa kalye that is an example how we use magtawag here magtawag and also tumawag tumawag versus magtawag yeah let's see next 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 okay tawagin versus tawagan Tawagin versus tawagan. Yeah, I'm drawing more and more examples. I leave it to you how you would what come up with a conclusion maybe mine would be just suggestion or idea or my own observation what is the difference between what uh, um and mag yes what what functions do they make yeah uh, what 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 really what is the best uh, description or guidelines for us to be able to use to use um and mag i have something in my mind but yes if you attend to me on one on one premium tutorial i am talking about it in detail yeah. yes next tawagin versus tawagan tawagin versus tawagan okay both are object focused verb both are object focused verbs eh? verbs verbs para yatang pinasok tayo ng magnanakaw so the same scenario as the previous one yes but the way i rearrange the sentence in this case i use the word tawagin tawagin mo ang police tawagin mo ang police okay the previous one tumawag ka ng police yes again in my one-on-one -on -one tutorial i really discusses in it in in depth in depth okay looks like a thief got in called the police so it's just same meaning yes and what else and uh, and then mga limang oras ang biyahe mo sa bus mga limang oras ang biyahe mo sa bus Tawagan mo ako kapag nasa bayan ka na. Tawagan mo ako kapag nasa bayan ka na. It may take you a 5-hour bus ride. Call me when you're in downtown. So maybe your girlfriend or your wife is go, going on a trip uh, uh, out of Metro Manila. So yeah, so and it will take about five hours bus ride. So when you get to your destination, tawagan mo ako, tawagan. You call me, call me when you're in downtown. Yeah, okay, next. Okay, next. Yeah, linis. Linis is the next word. And let's, let's find verbs from linis, linis. Luminis, maglinis, linisin, linisan. Okay, again, I use the word um in the first uh, verb, uh, mag in the second, in in the third one, and an in the fourth. Okay, I have some note here. Luminis is a weird word. Weird, it's weird, it's odd it's in between a verb and adjective so it looks like it's acting like an adjective at the same time acting like a verb also yeah there are words in tagalog that really you can tell whether it's verb or adjective okay so in uh, tagalog grammar we call it mala pandiwa mala pandiwa pandiwa in, Taga in english is verb yeah mala pandiwa the rest are in infinitive form so these three the last three are infinitive forms next 
next okay giving you examples how to use this luminis and maglinis yes if you have questions i hope your questions are easy and i will be able to answer them yeah okay only maglinis is the subject focused verb yeah only maglinis but this one i use the word luminis i'll try uh, here's my luminis okay one example mabuti naman at nawala na ang malaki pero lumang aparador luminis na sa tingin ko ang kwartong ito yes mabuti naman at nawala na ang malaki pero lumang aparador luminis na sa tingin ko ang kwartong ito in english good thing the old but bulky dresser is gone it now looks clean to me it now looks clean to me yeah luminis so yeah uh, i don't could be uh, this this um, function is uh, now an adjective here i think so luminis nasa tingin ko ang kwartong ito okay another example may darating na bisita sa sabado umpisahan mo ng maglinis may darating na bisita sa sabado umpisahan mo ng maglinis so i use the word maglinis here the guest is a uh, there is a guest coming over this saturday start cleaning up so maglinis means clean up here yeah clean up i hope you are enjoying this this presentation yes let's see let's see more and more okay linisin versus linisan linisin versus linisan this time both are object focus verbs both may darating na bisita sa sabado linisin mo ang kwarto sa itaas again may darating na bisita sa sabado linisin mo ang kwarto sa itaas in english there's a guest coming over this saturday clean up the room out upstairs may darating there's a coming guest coming darating na bisita darating na bisita guest coming over my is the way you use there is there is my okay linisin clean up clean up clean up kwarto sa itaas kwarto room itaas upstairs yes that's this is how you say it in english next huwag mong lini wa, huwag mong lilinisan ang desk ko ako na lang ang this must be maglilinis mag maglilinis ako na lang ang maglilinis neon neon i use the word neon but uh, this is rarely told spoken neon but Uh, these days instead of neon they say noon 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 but it really just means neon the, the, this one dito dito uh, nito nito neon neon third person but these days filipinos say noon 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 that's how they say it yeah it's kind of wrong grammar already <laughs> to me <laughs> to my perspective Again, huwag mong lilinisan ang desk ko. Ako na lang ang mag maglilinis niyon. Never clean up my desk. I'll do it myself. Okay, huwag for never. And then huwag mo, huwag mo, don't you lilinisan I use a um, uh, future tense of linisan. The future tense of linisan is Lili Nisan, Lili Nisan. Okay, Lili Nisan. Huwag mong Lili Nisan ang desk ko. Never clean up my desk. Ako na lang ang maglilinis. I'll do it myself. Okay, 
No question. Are you enjoying yourself quiet? I hope that you are absorbing my lecture or lecture presentation examples. So my really attention, my my intention, intention is for you to gather words and phrases and figure out how to use these verbs in a sentence. Yeah, yeah. Magbigay. Uh, now this time let's let's talk about the word bigay. 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 The following words are derived from, from the root word bigay. Bumigay. Magbigay. Binigay. Binigyan. Okay. All of these are in infinitive form of verb. Infinitive. Yes, infinite. When we talk about infinitive, it, in English, that is the way you say to love. In this, to give. Yes, to give, to clean. Wow, what is the other one? Tawag, to call. Those two plus verb, those are infinitive. So this, these are how we form our infinitive verbs in Tagalog. Bumigay, magbigay, binigay, binigyan. Yes. I am enjoying. Thank you, Mona. Yes, you are enjoying. Yes, uh, thank you. I will see you tomorrow. I'm missing you on Saturday. Okay, now I'll move on here. Let's continue. Yes, Bumigay versus Magbigay. Bumigay versus Magbigay. Both are subject focused, yeah, or actor fo focused. Either, yeah, sometimes I say actor focused, the person doing it actor focus because if object focus your attention is in the object although somebody's acting uh, a person is acting or anything uh, could be uh, uh, animal acting but object there is such thing as object if you know sentence parts or construction there's subject there's verb and there's object S V O and Tagalog can be V S O verb is mentioned first followed by subject, followed by object, things like that. Both are subject-focused verbs. Mabuti naman at nawala na ang malaki pero lumang aparador. Luminis na sa tingin ko. Oh, this is, why is this not bigay? Ah, oh, no, this is not about bigay. <laughs> I'm bad. May darating na bisita, umpisa mo ng maglinis. Maybe I have more example here. Ah, okay. This is for bigay. This is for bigay. It was duplicated. Bigyan. Let's move on. Notice that affix in can't be applied to root word bigay. No, there's no such kind of... What? What is my arrangement here? Must be eh, bigay. Ah, uh, binigay. There's binigay here. Oh, I must have example for binigay. Bumigay, magbigay, binigay. Let's see. Okay, why am I here? There must be bumigay versus binigay. Oh, my bad. About binigay. I must have example, but let's see. Let's create example for uh, bumigay. Bumigay. Okay, let me get to this one stop on this presentation and uh, exit exit let me change this one oh my bad here are you i hope you're still enjoying it let me construct an example bumigay versus magbigay let's see bumigay 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 is something that fall down bumigay like for example uh, uh luma na luma na ang sahig sa itaas luma Luma na ang sahig, sahig, sa itaas. Bumigay na ito, bumigay na siya. Bumigay na ito. Bumigay. Bumigay na. Iyon, let's not use uh, it. It must be iyon or yon. Yon. Yes. Okay, how do you say that in English? Luma na ang sahig sa itas. Luma na ang kahoy. Ang kahoy. Kahoy na. Luma na. Na ang kahoy na sahig sa itas. 
bumigay na iyon. So, in English, that means, uh, let's see, luma na ang kahoy. Luma na ang kahoy means uh, that, that floor, that wood, wood floor upstairs is old. Yes, editing with Alvin. Yeah, yes, I'm editing in person. <laughs> I'm not a robot. <laughs> Luma na ang kahoy na sahig sa itaas. Bumigay na yan. That wood floor upstairs is old. Is old. And then it gave in. Is it? I think that gave in is the... Uh, it fell down. It fell down. Bumigay. It fell. It fell down. Now. Maybe that's the... Uh, bumigay na. Fell down. Now now yay editing you are doing great <laughs> yes i'm not a robot i'm a person yes next uh bumigay is my example let's use magbigay in a sentence magbigay in a sentence yes magbigay magbigay uh, meron kang candy meron meron or mayron meron kang candy sa bulsa Meron kang candy sa bulsa, magbigay ka naman. Magbigay ka naman. Yes. Well, how do you say that in English? Meron kang candy sa bulsa, magbigay ka naman. You have you have you have meron. You have candy, candy in your pocket. Pocket, pocket. Yes. Please give me. Magbigay ka naman. Please give. Please give. Give me. Give me. Something like. Please give me candy. Something like that. Candy. Or give me one. Please give me one. Magbigay ka naman. That's fine. Press editing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Bumigay versus magbigay. Okay, yeah. Both are subject focus. Luma na ang kahoy sa sahig sa itaas. Bumigay. Yeah, even if we are talking of uh, of wood, the floor, there's a verb. The, the, there is a ten, there's, you can construct a statement as if like, yeah, because it's the subject. It's acting, acting. Bumigay na, bumigay na. Uh, it fell, it fell down. Yes, fell down. Bumigay na iyon. Bumigay, bumigay. Meron kang candy. You have, you have candy in your, this is your, not you. In your pocket. In your pocket. Please give me one. Uh, magbigay, magbigay ka naman. Magbigay ka naman. Please give me one. Yes, uh, Pwede ko sabihin, paki magbigay ka naman, or is that weird? Uh, paki, paki bigyan is the good word there, Mona. <laughs> paki bigyan mo ako, yes. Pwede, pwede ko sabihin, paki bigyan mo ako, Hin, hindi, you cannot say magbigay, paki magbigay. Use object focus, paki bigay. Or, uh, paki, paki magbigay ka naman, paki bigyan mo ako. Paki bigyan mo ako ng candy. Paki bigyan mo ako ng candy. Or if you want to use magbigay, magbigay ka naman ng candy. Paki, paki na, paki lang, paki lang. Magbigay ka naman, yes, naman would be helpful. Like you are begging or like uh, asking for a request naman. Magbigay ka naman sa akin yes yes pakibigyan good good pakibigyan mo ako pakibigyan mo ako next thank you for that example pakibigyan mo ako yeah, yeah. yes okay let's bigyan notice that affix no this is not this this is not true i was weird i was all in a hurry when i was doing it is that's not true i'm not okay with this there is binigyan uh there is let's delete this one let's uh i want to correct myself bigyan and binigay let's do uh binigay big what bigyan this one binigay binigyan binigyan or bigyan is just the same 
binigay or bigyan binigay b binigay and bigyan or what's the other one uh, binigyan bigyan or binigyan that's all the same binigyan or bigyan uh, binigyan is past tense binigyan is past tense binigyan bigyan is imperative bigyan bigyan oh yeah last minute uh, slides last minute uh, present uh, preparation <laughs> that's what i got with last minute preparation here <laughs> okay next we can work it out let's work it out okay let's do binigay yes binigay Ah, uh, sing sing, yes. Ang sing sing na ito ay binigay ni Bruce. Ang sing sing, sing sing na ito ay binigay ni, followed by ni Bruce. Noong, 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 noong or noong, noong ah uh, Valentine's Day. Yeah. Ang sing-sing na ito ay binigay ni Bruce noong Valentine's Day. So, this ring was given by Bruce last Valentine's Day. Yay! Six people watching. Thank you. Yes, and we're present. Bin bigyan mo ng ma Yes, here's what related to our uh, other example. Yes, binigyan. Yes, binigyan and bigyan. Yes. Ang sing-sing na ito ay binigay, binigay ni Bruce noong Valentine's Day. This ring was given by Bruce last Valentine's Day. And then uh, for the word bigyan, we have bigyan mo ng maiinom ang ating bisita. Bigyan mo ng maiinom ang ating bisita. Give our visitor something to drink. Yes, bigyan means give something. Give something. Bigay, binigay or bigay. It's just some simple, um, could be a gift also. Some, yeah, give, gift, bigay, binigay. Yeah, binigay is a verb. Binig, given, also gift. Oh, it's really weird why Tagalog says binigay and bigyan. But there's reason to it. It's aspect, aspect thing. I'm talking about that. Um, yes, and also, well, let's move. Let's get to this. And we are almost done. It's what time is it here? what time is it it's yeah we are almost done 10 yes one hour good for one hour but let me see for something uh, so you would be able to to draw your conclusion draw your conclusion linisin and linis tawag let's start with tawag yes tumawag tumawag magtawag both are actor focus yes as i was saying uh I would say in uh, to generalize maybe not everything so it, this is weird really with um um affix sometimes um affix looks like more on object than even if it's uh, actor focus you are dealing with the object part also tumawag but also most of the time I can see that tumawag um is some kind of verb that's happening internal to the person internal internal happening in the person whereas magtawag is something that's external and so most of the time there's something you need to work with with mag verb something like magtawag magtawag uh magtawag magtawag or some maglakad or something so something ex i hope you get what i mean between internal what's happening in the do where the subject internal whereas the other one is more of external again as i would say we would i was uh, observing observing that mm, i don't know please think of it also i i can be wrong but think of it i say tumawag is is what did i say here tumawag uh, one is reason driven and one is effect 
tumawag na um um group of verbs i say it's is uh, it's effect if yeah effect effect there's something in effect that's going on and there's tendency to to do that group of verb so aspect really and then magtawag i say magtawag the mag group of verb is more on reason driven there's reason why so that's how i come up with it uh, maybe it's it's um, i hope it will help or maybe i hope people will understand what i mean by that let's see another example lean is stop that stop that okay yeah yeah same thing with luminous luminous is not really an action actor verb so kind of kind of uh, adjective to describe something luminous the same thing with lumiwanag when you use with light lumiwanag so more on uh, even if that word is applied to an object and then object uh, there's a verb acted upon by that object internal to that thing is the um verb and then maglinis yes maglinis ka is that you as a person has to do it you use some tool to do the cleaning so that's why i say it's external you have to move your body maglinis maglinis and use some tool to do maglinis what about in and on this is easy in is just like uh, the object form of if you use the other example is better than this one uh, the other one no that hope uh tumawag here if you use tumawag and tawagin you just have to rearrange your verb or your tumawag is good for uh subject verb object agree uh, arrangement tawagin is good for verb object you mentioned the verb first before the the subject i hope you know this is already intermediate tagalog listen to me if you are in intermediate tagalog you will understand what i'm saying so tumawag is always uh, used when your sentence has i ako ay tumawag so that is the way you would use tumawag with tawagin it works well it works best when you mention the verb first tawagin mo tawagin mo it looks like the idea is the same but yeah the position in the sentence is just different tawagan is easy there is something there's a verb but your there is something something some uh, something else to go with that object tawagan and most of the time tawagan can replace can be referred to a place to a place some other verbs do that that's why you need more and more examples to generate to to come up with conclusion yeah it's fun it's fun let's see linis yeah linis luminis mag the same thing linisin linisin you are you're telling somebody to do it or yeah infinitive form lilinisin ko ito i'm going to clean this this thing linisan you're thinking of the area the area you are uh, doing the cleaning process that's how it is easy, easy with some verbs with an in the end linisan think of the the where you are acting on that that uh, action verb yes and object focus linisin is just like the uh, instead of using luminis and it's good for uh, subject verb object arrangement if you don't want that you have to call, to use uh linisin linisin object focus intermediate via uh, learners tagalog you will know how raise your hand or meet me we will talk about that yes next and yeah those are my uh, kind of uh, tip and i hope 
I wa I wish to have a face to face interaction with you. So we meet together, we get eye to eye on this one. Yes, the same thing with boomy guy. So can be uh, used to certain uh, object like this chair that I'm uh, sitting on. It fell. Boomy guy na. Boomy guy. It fell. So that's how we use the word boomy guy. And mugby guy is yes. You have something. You have to to give it so that's why i say it external i will give you this one this is my thing this is my what the balabal in tagalog bibigay bibigay ko magbibigay ako magbibigay ako sayo magbibigay ako meron pa akong isa magbibigay ako yes and it makes mom love my dad what there is an english expression cleanliness is next to godliness my dad always cleanliness is next to cleanliness <laughs> that's fun that's fun mona and it makes me love it. oh we'll talk about that yeah <laughs> yeah we play with words yes magbigay and binigyan yeah lots of things i want to to tell you about these verbs but one one hour is not enough enough and let's see let's see and i want you to see this one i really i like to your attention on this uh i i may i encountered a forum over there in the internet i'm not mentioning website or what somebody says uh, yeah uh, they were talking about how to well how to distinguish or how do how am i going to understand better mug and um yes how that's the question i know that's the question but somebody explained something and gave some but somebody says bumili means bumili means buy and that's true that that is true bumili means buy magbili there's no such thing as magbili in tagalog we don't say that no magbili it doesn't mean sell no no yes that i feel i feel I feel bad. Magbili. Maybe they use magbili. Maybe they are not coming from Tagalog region. Maybe not. Maybe in another uh, Philippine language they use magbili. But not Tagalog. No, no. It doesn't mean sell. Magbili doesn't mean sell. Sell means magtinda or magbenta. Yes. Magtinda or magbenta. That's good. So there's no such thing as magbili. No, it cannot be used in a sentence, magbili. Some words, the, some root words cannot come with mag and the same with other also with um cannot come, cannot apply affix. Yeah, so yeah, just collect all the meaning and uh, of all these verbs. Meaning is that will work best for you write it down <laughs> or sample phrases really will work best for you if you're beginners yeah i think this is where i want to end my session for now yeah thank yeah i'm happy that people are with me and yes thank you for your interaction yes so to wrap up this episode this tutorial yes and if in case you have question leave it the comment down i may not be seeing it early i can comment later yeah leave your comment down there and i can reply to you later you've learned what what tawa glinis bigay and billy are in english okay you're introduced to infinitive verbs that were formed out of these root words tawa glinis bigay and billy and also you saw how to use those infinitive verbs you saw how those are used in a sentence yeah, i gave you examples yay thank you for being here. for thank you for your time i appreciate i appreciate you coming with me and i feel i really i feel like uh, yes i'm talking with people and thank you for your comment yes makes me happy makes me alive makes me feel like i'm not a robot <laughs> i'm not a robot Pa'alam, and you have a good night. Have a good rest. Have a good evening. America, North America, Asia, good morning. And uh, enjoy your day. If you, and uh, yeah, Barb. Oh, I believe that Barb is in Europe. And it's not Barb. Who is it? What is that Barb? Dina, I'm thinking of Dina. Bab Jackson. Maybe I'm thinking of another person. Maybe Babs is in the USA. Yes, walang anuman and makes uh, yes, walang anuman po. 
<laughs> yes, uh, you have a good day and I'm send I, again reminder tomorrow <laughs> I'm uh, session one and session two. I will see you there. I'm sending love, light, peace, healing, protection, angels, good relationships, your way, your way. Maraming salamat. Hanggang samuli. Hanggang samuli.